Hello everyone, it's Mike and Seth and welcome to the original Next Level Gaming and Seth guess what time it is? Video Games Monthly! It's the Video Games Monthly box for the month of July! July. All right, Seth. Well, we didn't do a box last month, so everybody missed, we missed June's video because, well, and it was my fault. I have to take responsibility for it. When we, so with Video Games Monthly, unlike Retro Game Treasure, I have to give Retro Game Treasure this one. Um, when we get a game, I have to go to their website and I have to mark it down that we got it. Well, I didn't do that. And so they sent us an almost identical box this that last month. So there was really no reason to do another video because, well, most of the games were the same. So I went through, I made sure we had updated everything. I do still think that that was a little more than a coincidence that the box had almost the exact same contents in it. But it's okay. We're going to give them that, and that's cannon fodder, right? It's the trade-in fodder for other games. So, all right. Um, it's a nice full box again. Uh, while I get this open, what's your latest game obsession? Has been what? Hello, Hello neighbor. neighbor. Yep. We have learned all about the world of Hello Neighbor. So, and you're anxiously awaiting Hello Neighbor 2, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've played the alpha. I haven't beat it yet. Because the crow man thing mm -hmm. is just very annoying. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's our box for the month. I got to do a better job of opening the outer cellophane. I have box cutters, too. How? There we go. All right, boom. Put that down there for now. You leave it. It's good. All right. So, our man Clyde's on the front of the box again. It's Floyd. Floyd. Did I say Clyde? Yes. Floyd. Our man Floyd is on the box. So, you just can't. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll put this here. This is the. This is the. Uh, can't have anything on the ground, Seth. All right, and of course. Lay of the past. Into the future. Aha. All right. It's kind of full box. See a little, see a little bump in it? Mm -hmm. It means there's a lot of stuff in there. So we're going to open it up and we're going to close our eyes and we're going to let, we're going to let the good folks at home see what we got. All right. Cool. All right. Can I open that? Hold on. All right. Okay, now we can open our eyes. All right. So, first on the top. Oh. Okay. Oh, check it out. It's a little Floyd coaster for your drink cup. Well, now he's holding an adult beverage, but you can use that for your milk glass. So. So how does it go on? What, what you do is, see, I have a drink. And you put this down on, like, the counter or on the table. And you put your drink on top of it. And then all the water and the condensation outside of the drink, if the drink is cold, doesn't get onto the table and ruin your table. So. Hmm. No coaster. All right. We also got the requisite. Uh, oh, we got a one-up this month. So what does a one-up mean? It means one free game. One free game. Now, we usually get the four-game pack, but this month we're going to get five. Five. Yep. All right, Seth, you want to do the honor to the first game? All right. Oh. And while you're doing that, don't tell me what it is yet. I totally forgot. We want to open up our handy-dandy Game Eye app. The Game Eye app. Mm -hmm. This is an app you can get on your phone, Android, or iOS. And if you are a collector, this will tell you 
all of your games where you put them in and then you could keep that collection in case you go to a game convention or go to a retro store or any store that you can buy sell and trade games with want to sell something on ebay or to your friends this will tell you all about it for example and i did a video on this a couple of months ago uh right now my copy of the amazing spider-man on 32x you can't quite make it out it's still worth fourteen hundred dollars and my copy of Mega Man 8 Anniversary has jumped up to $675. So, uh, so I love my game I app. All right, Seth, what's the first game on the list? What do we got? It is a 3DS game. Yep. The Trash Pack. All right. And in our uh and in, in our continued receiving of 3DS games. It appears to be sealed, mm -hmm. so no one has played this one yet, and I'm, we, we kind of know why. All right, so let's take a look at the trash pack. Taking out the trash has never been so much fun. Collect over 160 of your favorite trashies, whatever that is. Play as 30 of the most popular trash pack characters. Enjoy four unique games for a truly gross adventure. So Trash Pack must be some sort of, made by Activision, must be some sort of, uh, some sort of brand. Uh, when when I was growing up, we had these cards called the Garbage Pail Kids, and it was kind of like a, a nasty take on the Cabbage Patch Kids, but they were it was like a collector's card set. This must be something like that. So. Made by EB Foot Technologies and Moose, whoever Moose is, and by Activision. So it's 3D, but it has a 2D and a 3D mode. Okay. And uh, let's see what the Game I app says. We're going to add it. Turn on the barcode scanner. Let's see how much this sucker's worth. Okay, complete in box a $6 game. Not bad for an old 3DS game that no one's ever heard of. So, that the trash pack. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Alright, I'm going to pick the next one. And we've got... Okay, oh, the rest of them are full-size boxes, it looks like. So, the next is a Xbox 360 game. I've never heard of called Section 8. Hmm, okay. Section 8, made by South Peak Games and Timegate. So, on the war torn planets of tomorrow, mankind's greatest battle is about to begin. Experience the ultimate in multiplayer combat with up to 32 players online and enlist the. F <laughs> that was uh, supposed to be one sentence. Up to 32 players online and enlist for future warfare in a single-player campaign. I like single-player campaigns. So this looks like... Okay. I, I'm not sure what this looks like. Jetpacks take command of your... Take combat to a whole new level. Fully customize your armor and weapons for a tactical advantage. On-demand delivery of vehicles and supplies to the battlefield whenever you need them. Burn in the battle from 15,000 feet and land anywhere you choose. Take that, Fortnite. All right. So, want to check it for, uh, for... It uh, has a menu. It does. How's the disc look, sir? The disc looks good. Yeah, that looks nice, and that's a, that's a, that's a nice and un, unscratched disc. So, okay. So, let's see how much it, let's see how much it is. Not bad. All right, let me hit it with the barcode scanner. <laughs> My camera focus doesn't. Unless that, oh, that's over top of the actual barcode because that came from somewhere. So we're going to have to type this one in. All right, let's type this in. How can I? 
That's a bar. That's not the original barcode for the game. That's why. So somebody else put a barcode on there that they're selling it in their store. Section eight. Section eight for the Xbox 360 uh, is worth four dollars, and that's it. Four dollars in its current condition. Okay, I'm gonna add it to the game I app. Whoops. Oh no. Yep. Complete in box worth four dollars. So we got the game, the manual, and the box. It's all in good condition. Okay. All right. Your turn, sir. Next game. Oh, another 360 game. Okay. All right. I don't think we've got this one. And somebody else was talking about this game. What is it? Ron Evolution. Ron Evolution. Well, it's got a neat box. That does. All right. Can you read that? What does it say? Welcome to the grid. Welcome to the grid program. <laughs> Experience the prequel story to. Now, if you guys hadn't seen Tron Legacy, even though that says the prequel story to Tron Legacy, Tron Legacy is the sequel to the very, very awesome, kind of cult now classic original Tron from the 1980s. A very favorite movie of mine. A movie that, by the way, Seth, I think you're old enough to watch with me and understand. If you want to see what computer graphics was like in 1982, Tron is an awesome movie to watch. So maybe you and I will watch Tron together. So we've got Battle Ruthless Enemies and Disc Combat, Light Cycles, and Seamlessly Connect from Story Mode into 10-player online battles. Wow. That's pretty cool. By Disney Interactive Studios and Propaganda wow. Games. Made with the wow. Unreal Engine. And it's, it does. It's got a neat... Check out the, that front of that box. is pretty neat. I like it. Me too. So our, we, we, what we have now is Tron Legacy 2.0 for the uh, original Xbox. And it's okay. But I've heard good things about this. So um, go ahead and open it up. And let's see if we've got what we got in under the hood. Oh, oh look, we've it wow. It's so it's like wow. It's not um it's not sealed, but we still it they still even have the I don't even know if you can I don't even know if you're able to to um collect this. But you can download a Fl Sam Flynn multiplayer skin. It has a manual. And the, this is perfect. Right there. Yep. Right there. Yep. That's too far. Or too close. <laughs> they, they're going to see right through the middle and not see the actual disc. So, no, that looks good. All right, so let's check the game I app. Try and put that back in there. Yes. <laughs> that is the That is the Logitech 980 the HD camera. Um, no, what is that? The uh, 960. 920? I don't know. It's a Logitech camera. It's very nice, as you can see. Um, okay, so Tron Evolution <coughs> for the Xbox 360. Okay, complete in boxes worth $9. Is it my turn? Yes, it's my turn. Right, next yes, up, your turn. Well, another f a sealed game of some sort. The oh PS4. Um, all right. So this is something that I can't even use, and not that it it. Let me say it's not retro. It's not video games monthly's fault. They don't know. Stormblood, Final Fantasy. Number is that? Final Fantasy XIV Online requires Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn to play. So this is Stormblood. So this is DLC for Final Fantasy XIV. So um, if you have this game, I'll tell you what. 
if you have this game and you can tell me what was the last game on the May video that we put out, tell me that. And if you have this game, I will send it to you. I will send you the DLC. Okay? I'm going to put this aside. It's sealed. Not open. So if you have Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, and you would like the Stormblood DLC, you need to tell me what the last game we opened in May was. Um, I'm, you know what? We're still going to look and see how much it's worth. Obviously, Seth, it's got the manual and the disc, and the disc is in perfect condition because, well... It's, it's sealed. Right. So let's see what Storm worth. Barcode not recognized. Stormblood. So let's try it this way. Uh, Stormblood. It's not even in game. It's not even in the game I app. So. Um, oh, that's my game collection. That's why. Because I'm not using it right. Let's try that again. Don't laugh at your dad. Stormblood. Here we go. Alright. For the PS4. It's actually the DLC is actually worth ten dollars. New in box. Wow. Yeah. So Wow wow wow. You can. You can have a brand new ten dollar in box copy of Stormblood if you Put it in the comments below. Okay. Next up, your turn. Oh. Another sealed PS4 game. It's called. Over. Override. X City Brawl. Never heard of it. By Me neither. By Modus and The Balance. Super chill. But it's the. Hold on, Seth. It's the. Supercharged Mega Edition. Edition, edition, edition. Uh, oh, it includes the Season Pass. No Gears, No Glory. Insane Mechs, Ultimate Chaos. Duke it out in local and online brawls or go solo in story mode, laying waste to entire cities underfoot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. One to four players. And uh, optional online play it is pro enhanced so i wonder if it'll play oh it's it's a it's a disc though so it won't work on our brand new uh ps5 um digital version because i don't have a disc drive on the ps5 so but we still have the ps4 so we will mm -hmm. have to figure this out it kind of looks neat that looks a little that looks a little bit like a blue optimus prime though doesn't it can i see yeah a little bit it does. So, all right. Well, let's see what this is worth. <laughs> five dollars. Oh, five dollars new. It's okay. All right. I think okay. that is it. Five dollars. Yep. Let me just double check. I think that's everything. Yep. The rest of the box is empty. All it has is bubble wrap. Bubble wrap and the rest of the empty dreams. Okay. All right. So, I would say not a not a bad haul this month. Let's take a look at the games we we got. So once again, we got the trash pack, the gross the gross gang in your garbage section eight, which I'm actually. I'm actually interested in. I this looks kind of neat. Mm. Just going to depend on how quality it is. It does use the Unreal Engine. One that um, Tron Evolution, which again I've heard good things about, and uh, this is definitely one to try out. And now I want to watch the Tron movie with, you. and then Override Mech okay. City Brawl. So. Again, not a decent, not a decent, not an undecent, undecent, not a bad, not a bad haul. So, uh, so that's going to do it for us. Not a, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of fluff this month. Um, want to thank you guys. Want to thank everybody who watches these with us every month. 
Um, you know, we really enjoy bringing you these videos, don't we? Mm -hmm. And I know, uh, I know this is this is kind of um, educational for you because really the Xbox 360, you know, is not really a console that you play a lot of and and do a lot with. So you kind of learn about this as you go. Uh, for me, it's nostalgic, um, but it's also very fun. To, and some of these games have been really cool to play. Some of them have been surprises that uh, um, you know I didn't think were going to be were going to be good, but turned out to be actually pretty neat. Um, and some of them become trade in fodder. It's okay. So, but thank you guys for continuing to watch these videos. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> so no, we we really want to thank you guys for watching with us every every month and. Um, we're going to continue to bring you more great content. Seth and I have more things coming your way. Uh, and um, to our channel members, our friends of NLG who are seeing this before everybody else, thank you so much. That, you know, your, your uh, membership means a lot to us. Um, as you all know, we don't consider you viewers and fans. You are our gaming family. And uh, don't forget, by the way, Speaking of others, of our friends of NLG, we do great giveaways. You get free emojis for the chat, uh, for our live streams, and um, and for our NLG show, which is on Thursday nights at 9 p.m. with myself, Peter Hutink, Chris Williams, and, you know, when we decide to have a guest or two. And uh, it's a, always a fun time. The chat room is unbelievable. So, And, of course, if you like our content, if you like what you see here, that's what do they need to do. Like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. And hit that bell. And hit that notification bell. So that's yeah. going to do it for us for the Video Games Monthly Box for the month of July. Thank you guys so much. We love you. We'll see you next month. And as I always say, play on, gamers. <laughs>